Hey guys! So there's a channel called Sick Trick Domino Dude, and he has a video series called Domino Critic, where he takes requests to criticize Domino and Rube Goldberg builders like me, and talk about what we're good at and what we can improve on. So why am I talking about this? Well, he recently made a contest, which you can check out right here, where we have to be the Domino Critic and criticize him. So how this is going to work is I'm going to look at every video he allowed us to criticize, and talk about what was good and what was not so good. Now, of course, some videos will take a bit longer than others, and I'll try not to repeat the same points more than once. But without further ado, let's start with Stick Bomb 4. I can't imagine the amount of time and frustration put into building that. Personally, I've tried building stick bombs, but the most I've gotten to was about 30 sticks. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. I can't build stick bombs at all. So the only thing you could work on here is the filming. And that is another reason why I don't like stick bombs too much. They just go too fast. The only way to capture them perfectly is with a high-speed camera, and very few people have that. My only advice is to set up multiple cameras, even if they're low quality, maybe some iPhones in good spots. And then you have multiple camera angles to get at least a decent shot of every cool part. So next up is 99 Chain Reaction Tricks Part 3. And wow, that got a lot of views, congrats on that. This is just like my 100 ideas videos, so I have a ton of experience working making these types of videos. So get ready for a lot of comments. First of all, when you're working with ideas that look very similar, like the ones I'm showing right now, don't put them right after each other. Both of them have the same piece of cardboard and Jenga blocks and it makes them look a tiny bit boring. In this idea, speed up the footage when it's really slow. That car was rolling for almost 25 seconds. If you sped it up four times, it would be reduced to six seconds. Oh wow, I love the trick with the moving picture. When you're trying to get a steady shot, use a tripod. There are some really cheap ones if you don't have one. Personally, I like the stick bomb tricks in this video a tiny bit more than the Rube Goldberg ones, just because I haven't seen those before. Finally, use music that is more energetic. The music you chose was very quiet, and it didn't exactly contribute too much to the video. If you don't want the music to be distracting, don't have it at all. But otherwise, make it fun music. For the sake of time, I'm going to take whatever videos you have in a series, such as the really random rallies of the Rube Goldberg machines, and critique them as a whole. I actually loved your really random rallies, and even though you don't have as many dominoes as other builders, you use them really well. The small domino tricks and the huge domino setups were well balanced, making it fun to watch. The only criticism I have is that Really Random Rally 3 was made really long and should have been split into two videos. One for the domino tricks and one for the tutorial. You have a lot of tutorials and you should have made that one of them. Other than that, for your domino rallies, just keep doing what you're doing and it will be great. For your sick trick shots, I like how you included your friend in a lot of them, but it would be even better if you could make the shot together with your friend instead of having one of you filming. Also, try spending some more time to make the shots harder. From experience, it's definitely not worth the time to make the harder shots which is why I slowed down on these videos, but it's still something that people want to see. Finally, never film while making trick shots at the same time. Put the camera on a tripod, or make someone else hold it. It makes a lot more stable shot, and it looks a lot better afterwards. Before I critique, in my opinion, your most important sets of videos, or your domino screen links and Rube Goldberg machines, I just wanted to let you know that you are an amazing channel and an extremely important part of the Rube Goldberg community. And you've been there for every amateur Rube Goldberg builder who's just starting up and finally getting to know how to use the same track twice. And I'm sure they're extremely helpful that you were there to support them. You inspired so many new builders in the way that I sometimes don't take the time to do so. And in my opinion, that's more important than views or subscribers or any complicated idea or anything like that. So keep that in mind when you build your next Rube Goldberg machine and make more videos. Let's get back to work. Let's start off with the video that made you famous, the Doctor Who and Domino screen link. The dominoes and the Rube Goldberg tricks were spot on and, and in perfect balance. However, this is something that I struggle with more than you do, but you could have incorporated the theme better. You could have added more pictures from the internet and decorated your videos more. Another thing that 
I noticed a tiny bit is that you showed the sign that said spoilers in the middle of the screen link and I thought you were going to give away a bunch of stuff even though like you didn't it was just a theme that was part of the show but yeah that was kind of unrelated anyway it's great that it got featured on the BBC because I'm sure it took a lot of work and it was definitely one of your best domino screen links if not the best of your domino screen links and I'm so happy that you got famous because of it. it was amazing this is the one last bit of criticism I'm going to give you, and it's about your Goldberg machines, but it's a really big one. I really don't want to sound like a jerk, and I hope you understand that all I want to do is improve your machines, and I actually thought about not including this, but I felt like it was important. The hardest part of making your Goldberg machines is coming up with new ideas, and I feel like some of your machines seem very similar with respect to these ideas. There are too many things involving nothing but balls and tracks, and I feel like many of the ideas you make are not original enough. My advice is twofold. First, put a chair on your table. It works really, really well from my experience, and it might seem funny, but it really works. It adds so much potential to your machine, and it basically opens up a huge amount of possibilities for you. Like, it can get so much more creative. It actually works. Second, look at everything in your house and imagine every possible way you could use an item you see in your Goldberg machine. Like take, I don't know, like tissue boxes. Look at the tissue box and see how can you use it in a Goldberg machine. Look at everything in your house. Think of it as a Goldberg object. It works. It, ex it exercises your creativity. It will work so well and it's one of the ways I got a lot better at making ideas. This is one of the reasons why I loved Rube Goldberg 16 from you. It involved things that weren't just balls and tracks. It was so many new things that it was, in my opinion, it was actually your best machine. It was so creative. You didn't, you limited yourself and that brought out all the creativity. So anyway, that's it for me. That was and that's all the criticism I can offer, and I hope I wasn't too harsh. I didn't want to sound like a jerk. Um, you're a great channel, and I wish you so many more subscribers, so many more views, and I wish you really good luck in all of your next videos, and have fun!